G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and today I have the absolute honor and privilege to present to you the unboxing of the Zero Y travel tripod from Ulanzi. They sent it to me and they've said, have at it, write some articles. So I've written some articles, link will be in the description below. And today we're gonna to unbox it and have a look at it. And then I'm gonna put it against its rival. You know what its rival is. If you've been watching any of these, you know its rival is the Peak Design travel tripod from Peak design which is astronomically overpriced and I have one so we'll do that in due course but zero Y here's got here's what happened so you unbox it and revealed is this beautiful canvas pouch cover pocket that it comes in that is really neat and tidy but there's a little bit of flexibility in there should you want to add or stash some other things in there it's by Ulanzi and Komen they've teamed up to create this beautiful design there's some handles here you've also got some handles here so you can attach this to your camera bag no stress but it comes with a nice little strap that you can attach to here and whack around your shoulder and away you go you unzip and inside here it is carbon fiber tripod with some creative elements to it. So let's work from the bottom up. The bottom, it has rubber feet that you can screw on and off and replace with the metal ones that they send you. Metal ones come in just a Ziploc plastic bag, but you can stash this, there's room, in case if you like. You have these four clips that you pull back and it gives you your five section extension which puts it about that high from the ground and then you have the center column which you can then extend the height even more. You can adjust the height to any height you wish on the spectrum and you simply close it all off. Now this is where it gets really cool. When you move up the leg you come to the top adjustment clip and you adjust that by taking the pressure off the leg pushing it down and then extending the tripod. The center column is controlled by a brake system here. So we lift this lever and it allows us to pull the center column up. One of the things that's worth noting that this little section here, which enables you to have a shorter center column, which we'll talk about in a sec, sometimes catches on the bracket. See that? It just catches. It's no big deal, but it catches. As the tripod head sits in the tripod, you have about a 20 degree movement once it's pushed all the way in. So once it's pushed all the way in, you still can move that 20 degrees. On top you have a panorama option which enables you to turn the top of the camera around while everything else stays stationary. That's helpful when you want to just move your camera like this, but also when we move into vertical. So let's talk about vertical for a moment. If we extend the center column by lifting up the brake and pulling that out, we can then adjust the angle of the ball head by simply pulling out this braking lever, which gives you full mobility. Now, as you'll see, the ball head has two grooves that it can sit in, allowing you perfect um, orientation and use for your vertical when your camera is like this. And also because of our pano head, this can still move like so, so you can adopt any position you like on your camera in any scenario. Very impressive. And this, this locks in, I can't move it. I use all the force that I have, which is a great deal of force, might I add. <laughs> but I can't move it. Likewise, the brake system going down, I can't, I can't shift that, I can't pull it out, I can't shift it down any further. When you use a tripod, it's always best to have the center mount as short as you can possibly make it because that becomes a monopod and a monopods are more unstable than a tripod. So if it works for your scenario, keep this as uh, low down as you can. Now, what other options have we got? You'll notice it starts at 75 degrees. You push the button in, you can move it to 55 degrees degrees you push the button in and you can move it to 20 degrees I can do that with all the legs and so it drastically reduces the height of the tripod now we have a challenge right because the minimum height you can use on your tripod now is this and we want it shorter don't we so they found a solution to this and the solution is in the hook. The hook is included in the pack and it sits and lives right here. And it's basically, you unscrew it, you unscrew the hook and look what happens. You have a hex driver tool. The cool thing about this hex driver tool is it's magnetized so you can pull it out, you can turn it around and you can use this end for altering all the screws on your tripod or the external screws. But the internal screw, if we turn it back, is what's gonna help us today. You see this, this gap, this gap, means 
it can go like this. And once it's in its vertical position, revealing one of the two holes, that hole you then place the X driver in and it locks. And once it's locked, you can then unscrew the center column. As I do this, one of the things to note is it sometimes takes a bit of time to grip. And there we go, I've got it gripped. And as we grip, you'll see the increasing space take place just here. And then you pull it off. And then what you have is you have a ball head and center column that's actually quite small. This can be placed in the tripod, locked in, and all of a sudden your tripod sits this far off the ground. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant, right? And that is locked in. I can lock that in at any height I like. So I can actually lock it in up to this height. If I just push that down, not going anywhere. Or I can go all the way down, but I can go up to here. I can lock it down. I can then move this brake and shoot on vertical like this. If I need a little bit more, I can just go up a little bit more and my camera can sit there vertically. It's brilliant. Brilliant. I love it. I'm so impressed. So impressed. You should get one. If you're like, should I get one? You should get one. Just get one. You should just get one. They're, they're $369.95. So I realized that you're like, Whew. it's actually a bit pricey. It's not as expensive as it could be seeing as it's carbon fiber and has the tech in it that it does have. Now the reason for the hook on the bottom is in high wind scenarios, the idea is that you attach your camera bag to the hook, so the hook's very handy. Except here's what people don't say, which you need to know. If you put your camera bag here in high winds, the wind's gonna blow your camera bag, it's gonna make this even worse. <laughs> so what you wanna do is put your camera bag as an anchor on the ground and have an elastic rubber cord that ties this to that, and you should be able to get that in any hardware store. It's just a bit of rubber with a couple of hooks. And as long as your camera bag is sitting on the ground, you'll have some stability when it comes to this. But don't rip yourself off by dangling it here, having more of a weight and mass that can be flung off a cliff or have every image blurry because it's not doing what you think it should do. You've got to ground your camera bag. The other handy thing about the Zero Y is it comes with a base plate included, but to this Arca Swiss mount can take any Arca Swiss base plate. So whether it's an L bracket or any other version of this, you are good to go. And it has a slight gripping system so that your camera doesn't just fall off. You have to unloosen it all the way, which is a little bit of a hassle. So you unscrew it all the way and then you can lift off. And also you've got this other screw here that controls the panorama. And if you find this little knob gets in the way, all you need to do is pull it out and you can adjust its position. Huh. There's also a bubble level here, which is about a seven out of 10 effectiveness. It's not as bad as some of them, but I've never found one that's like a 10 out of 10. Uh, and that can be viewed just underneath the base plate as you put the base plate on. Everything, everything is either carbon fiber or aluminum alloy, with the one exception of the center columns bracket that holds it in place, that is plastic. But everything else is really, really high caliber, high quality made. They've made this to be the tripod that you grab regardless of the scenario that you're going into if you want to travel light. And I, I actually reckon this could serve as your main tripod in all scenarios. You can actually convert it to underslung mode by taking your center column and inverting it you obviously extend it so the full length is there and you can mount your camera so that your camera sits underneath the tripod. Just think about the wealth of creative options that allows, especially if you're out traveling and you don't know what you're going to encounter. You might have a beautiful setting like this and you're like, I want to mount my camera really low to the ground and shoot up a tree or I want to put it low to the ground and shoot across the water, or I want to catch some insects when I'm doing some macro, or I want a fascinating take, long exposure on a street photography shot, and you've got all the tools you need right here. You can even use it as a vlogging tripod. It's only 1.1 kilos. And so if you're really trying to reduce the amount of weight you take with you, and you don't want to take a vlogging setup as well, you can actually vlog easily into your camera using this 1.1 kilos. And you can extend it or reduce it as much as you like. It's quite comfortable um, and you can hold it at varying degrees, whatever you fancy. 
Oh, so good. Well done, Ulanzi and Komen. A wonderful partnership. This this has it's the it's it's easily the best tripod I've ever used. There you go. I said it. I said it, and it's true. It's, I am so thankful that you guys have sent this to me to review. I've done a full written review, which you can access in the description below, and it gives you all the details and data and comparison stuff that I've been working on, so you can see all the um, detail of the things that I've simply glossed over in this video. I've also compared it to Peak Design's travel tripod, because if you're looking at this, you're like, it looks a bit like Peak Design's. It's like the contender for the throne when it comes to what Peak Design created a couple of years ago, and you want to watch the video I put out about this because you're going to be impressed with this product compared to Peak Design. Because I have Peak Design's travel tripod, so I'm going to put them head to head and we'll see how that looks like. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you've got any questions about this, I would love to um, answer them. And if you want it, I would encourage you to get it. You can head to the link in the description below. If you'd like to subscribe, that would mean a massive difference to me. I would really appreciate it. I'd love to join with you. I'd love to meet you in the comments section and chat about all the photographic things that you're doing. If you can give this the like, it costs like nothing. Just Give it a like and it helps a great deal for this channel, especially if you watch this far. You're a legend. Thanks heaps. See ya.